Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 14th, 2021. So yesterday we had those bulls continuing to push in the SPY and QQQ, and it was largely led by in, um, the big techs. Big techs were pushing the markets up while the majority of market was moving south or sideways, big tax lifted the market up to hit new record highs in the SPY and um, the NASDAQ breaking out to new record highs. So what does that mean for the day? Well, how about we grab ourselves a drink, let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. What a week we have ahead of us now with big bank reports. We have the Coinbase IPO that is likely going to serve as a substantial uh, distraction. Let's take a look at the technicals of the market and see if we can glean any information on how we might want to approach this today. Now, I've been mentioning this situation where we are significantly extended in the market, and that situation continues here today. As a matter of fact, we have stretched this market to such an extent, I kind of worry about um, the possibility that companies companies will probably have to report at or near perfection to support some of these current prices. So we could easily see a stumble that could um, occur if they report poorly. So we're going to have to really stay on our toes in this market. Let's take a look at the Dow here. Now the Dow is in much better shape than other, uh, other indexes because we've done a little bit more of resting and consolidation here in the market. And we can see this morning as we start getting some of these earnings reports that we're trying, trying, trying to push up just a little bit this morning here in the Dow, um, but not really gaining a whole lot of energy just as of yet. Now, keep in mind that we have a pretty decent price support right down through this area right here. So if we were to pull back, we could um, we could hold in that support area in the chart. And we also have this trend to bring in some support. I'm gonna jump over here to the Dow just for a second. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, is I, I wanna point out the, the danger that can be here, how quickly we could um, move significantly um, and, and although it doesn't look like much on the chart, it could still be a very, very painful pullback uh, for the market. So let's kind of go right from where we closed yesterday and let's just measure down to the first price support. That first price support down is 419 points. So we've got a 400 point pullback just to that first support in the chart. If we were to pull back down into this level, 772 points in the market. So I'm only doing that to kind of point out the possibility if the if we do pull back, it could be rather painful in that pullback. So we're going to want to really stay on our toes and be careful not to become complacent over trading, chasing stocks, because if we do happen to stumble, it could hurt. Now, the Dow is in the best, or the Diamonds is, is is the best of the indexes right now as far as that extension look. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY is just incredibly extended above um, any price support level in the chart whatsoever. And notice we're trying to extend this out again this morning. We're trying to get a little bit of a push here this morning on big bank earnings. So what I, what I wanna show you here is if we don't report at very near perfection prices in these um, um, earnings, notice how far we could fall here in the SPY just to come in contact with some price support. And I wanna um, point out just how incredibly far we have stretched away from our 50-day moving average. Um, 
Remember how painful this little pullback was when we suddenly became worried about inflation? Well, all of a sudden, we don't care about inflation. CPI came in hotter than expected. Market doesn't care about that at the moment. And we have raced to the upside. So that in, uh, in, a, in and of itself creates a significant level of danger in the market. And I want to caution everyone to be careful not to over trade because if we do stumble, if we do slip, we could see a substantial pullback and it could be very, very painful. In fact, it makes me wonder if we're not racing toward a potential cliff here in the market. So just be wise in how you trade um, a market this extended. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is also so incredibly extended in the short term, breaking out to new record highs, and that's wonderful. We got those new record highs. But at the same time, if we look at the short term of this chart, this is certainly um, looking very parabolic in that short term. Now, having broken out, we created a little bit of um, sweet spot here where we could pull back and find some price support in this area. So we could find a little bit of price support in this area, but let's keep in mind if that doesn't hold a pullback into here or a pullback into here where there is substantial support would be very, very painful. So just keep in mind if there is a stumble in any way, shape or form, um, it could be painful and we should keep an eye on those bond rates. Bond rates are creeping up this morning um, as well. I know there's a lot of distractions out there, but just don't be blindly rushing into massive risk in case that does occur. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM really didn't perform all that well yesterday, but it did rally back up at the end of the day we have those oil sector stocks and financial sector stocks that have just been kind of floating around not really giving us a whole lot of energy uh, to the upside so watch that closely then let's take a look at our vix now our vix continued to just drift a little bit lower yesterday after it spiked up initially on that selling wave that we had in the morning where we had the shock of the j and j news and rising COVID, but we just, and, 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 and um, hotter than expected uh, consumer prices, we just kind of shook that off and said, we don't care about anything um, like that. We just want to buy stocks and um, sliding back down, but we're holding right here in just this little tiny support area. Now, if we can garner some bullishness today, that might slide on lower. And I have to say, this is very bullish for the market. We are in a downtrend here on the VIX. Fear seems to be dropping out of the market, but I'm beginning to worry that some of that fear dropping out of the market may be absolute and total complacency. So be really, really careful here. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122, this really shows us yesterday what was actually happening in the fact that T2122 barely made a rise at all yesterday, barely moved. And what that means is the majority of the market was actually sliding sideways or even going south yesterday while we continued to set new record highs. And it was really based solely on the big tech institutions able to lift because they have such a massive weighting in our indexes now that they were able to lift the market to new records while the majority of stocks were just kind of yawning and going hmm, ho-hum. There wasn't a whole lot of momentum into that. So it kind of gives us that false read that everything is very bullish when the majority of the market really isn't. So kind of keep that in mind as you are planning your risk forward. Um, now T2122 tells us if we can garner enough bullish enthusiasm here, we have that opportunity that we could zoom up higher here. We've opened up that upside opportunity in T2122. We also have a pretty big downside opportunity. Right now, I've got to favor the upside. I've got to go with the bullish trend, but I got to tell you, I'm about as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs right now. Um, I don't want to be over trading in this market. Let's take a look at T2101, the absolute market breadth.
Here is another indicator that gives us a little concern. Notice that we were sinking yesterday in market breadth, even as we were making new record highs in the SPY and the Qs. So here we are continuing to downtrend in our market breadth while we continue to push to new record highs. Just makes me nervous. It makes me, it makes me, um, um, reminisce a little bit about 1999 and um, the way we were just chasing stocks, chasing, chasing, chasing stocks. It didn't matter. Um, we were in a chase. Circumstances are completely different, but I got to tell you that the exuberance that we're experiencing right now in the market is very reminiscent of that time. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and on that economic calendar we've got some things that we'll want to pay attention here to as we move through the day we've got import export prices now these are just really out of whack and we know that um, us is not producing much anymore as far as physical products we've shipped that overseas and um, so our import export prices continue to um, expand with massive deficits um, in that but so far the market doesn't seem to care about that um, we have a um, big group of fed speakers today including jerome powell here at noon as you can see we've got all day long fed speakers going on and um, we have that petroleum status report today now the beige book will also be out here at 2 p.m today but I don't know that anybody cares about that with all of the hype around earnings in Coinbase IPO. So um, kind of keep a close eye on those. This could certainly help us if we could if we could see a surprise decline in supplies. That could certainly help inspire those oil sector stocks, and that would help the overall market kind of hold up here. So um, watch those closely. Then on the earnings front, uh, kicking off our um, earnings season. We have about 70, 17 companies on the calendar today and they're already coming out pretty quickly this morning. Let's take a look at some of these notables here um, today. And by the way, um, as, as earnings continue to build up, I won't be able to cover them all in the morning prep video of the notables. So make sure you know that right underneath the title of this video, there is a link that goes back to the morning blog. And you're certainly always welcome to go back to that morning blog and catch that full list of um, earnings and notables. Um, let's take a look. BBBY um, reporting today. This is the pre-market candle. We can see BBBY um, apparently has disappointed, pushing down, breaking um, some price support here in the chart, and maybe heading a little bit lower. Let's take a look at JP Morgan. JP Morgan has reported this morning. We had an initial little bit of negativity coming into that, pushing down, but they're trying to fight that back to the upside. We do have some price support in here. We have this little upside trend that we may be setting right on um, in that chart, but we didn't get that explosive move that I think a lot of people were hoping for um, in uh, that earnings. Um, and, and once again, remember, we're going to have to report near perfection um, um, to support some of these current prices. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs has also reported this morning. It looks like they've done a little bit better job. We're getting a little bit more of a bump to the upside, trying to hold um, in, in this area of price support and um, consolidation, I just should say, um, price support, price resistance in that chart, we're um, trying to hold in there. We could get enough energy to pop through to the upside on that. So watch that closely, but not, not the normal report that we would normally see from Goldman Sachs where we would just zoom out of um, that price level. Then we have um, um, WFC. WFC reporting. Uh, notice WFC um, looking for a little downside here this morning and that possibility that this could be a failure at a top. We're breaking that little um, upside trend, this little wedging pattern, breaking it to the downside. So keep an eye on that WFC. Maybe 
drifting just a little bit lower this morning. Um, we also have some reports today like INFY. We want to keep an eye on that. Looks like INFY has disappointed um, pretty strongly this morning. Um, I'm looking for a gap down at the open. Um, LOVE will be reporting. Now it looks like they have reported well. Nice bullish move here this morning. This is a nice pattern setup even. Um, holding above some support, pulling back, showing a nice upside move. Um, very nice. Interesting that um, uh, this company makes um, um, beanbag furniture. And it's interesting to me that it's becoming one of the the fastest growing furniture company is in the United States right now, being big furniture. But um, take a look at that. Um, love looking very, very good. Um, HOFT, HOFT, um, another furniture company um, reporting today. So far, not much going on here in that chart. We have SJR, SJR reporting today. Looks like not much going on there in that one. So those are those notables for this morning. How about we take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video is worthy, please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and also click the bell icon helps us to continue to grow. You know, we're, we're getting really, really close to 19,000 subscribers and I would have never ever suspected there'd be this many people with an interest in this kind of content. But um, I am so humbled um, by the support of the content of this channel. So thank you very much, everyone. You guys are awesome. Um, also, please feel free to share these videos out on your social media feed. It helps us reach more people and um, continue to grow. So thank you very much. Also, just another big shout out to those folks that are utilizing the Buy Me A Coffee link that's just below the title of the video um, and supporting the channel that way. And I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much um, for all your kindness and your support of this effort. Let's take a look at the stocks that are setting up. And remember, these they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are um, an idea that you might want to look at. Put the stock on a watch list. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Make sure you're never, ever blindly following anyone else's trade. That is a really, really bad idea. Let's take a look at SWKS. SWKS is an interesting chart to me in that notice that we, we broke down. We had a downtrend here, kind of this protracted pullback in the chart, but we regained some price support in this chart. And now we're just resting out here sideways. We're holding that price support. And I'm watching SWKS for that possibility that we could garner a little bit of um, energy here in the market and pop that through and then continue on in this nice upside trend that SWKS has been experiencing. So watch that closely. Um, um, I want to take a look at PepsiCo. Now PepsiCo holding in a nice little pattern here. PepsiCo is going to report on the 15th. That's really gonna mess this thing up. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this lately, but I hate earnings um, because we can have beautiful patterns and good setups and then we manipulate everything with analyst, um, analyst project projections and, and these reports and we manipulate these prices like crazy. But that being said, we have a nice little pattern here in um, JP, or, I mean um, PepsiCo. Notice we have this giant head and shoulders pattern that has developed and also notice that we've broken through this resistance level in the chart and we're holding it as support. So if we can find that bullish energy in here, you might want to keep an eye on PepsiCo for that possibility that we could pop on through and continue to head on higher in that chart. And I got to tell you, a lot of these old Divi payers um, um, have really been coming up strongly um, in the market here recently. So watch them closely. Um, I also think you might want to take a look at utilities. Um, utilities had a big move yesterday, pushing up 
substantially here yesterday. This is more of a safety play. So it's kind of interesting. We're hitting new record highs in the market, and yet we're seeing consumer defensive stocks, really old, boring stuff, garnering so much attention right now. And then we're moving over to a safety play like XLU. Might be some warnings in there, guys. Um, think about that carefully. XLU showing a beautiful move. These are boring, boring stocks, but they provide nice dividend returns and some relative safety in the market. And you can see holding this nice support level, we rested here a little bit. Buyers found, uh, grabbed a hold on here and started to push higher. So keep an eye on XLU or anything in the utility sector. By the way, for those of you that don't use TC2000, I want to show you something really cool here with TC2000. It's something I highly recommend. And that is I can look at a, at a component ETF like this, like XLU, and with one click pull up a list of everything in that component. And I can quickly drill down to the stocks that are moving that index. Might want to take a look at TC2000. It is a great piece of software, and um, I honestly uh, credit it for a lot of my success because it's so easy to find the stocks that you're looking for. Let's take a look at um, stocks like GE. Now, GE continuing to set up in that nice little consolidating rest here. Now, GE has plenty of time before we hit earnings, so if the market can find some bullishness here to start pushing up, we could garner enough little enough support in here to start breaking this higher. Now, don't be too surprised if this has to rest a little more over here to trend. But I got to tell you, I really like how in the last few days, we're really tightening up this price action in here. This will be a relatively low risk entry trade. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I think you might want to take a look at Pfizer. Now, I have a position in Pfizer. So I'm biased on this trade. But um, Pfizer has been moving up nicely here and notice that we've broken through this resistance level in the chart that is now support and we've broken this big long downtrend and we're looking bullish here. Now yesterday we popped and pulled back and you can see today we're trying to hold in here. So I wouldn't chase this but I would wait for that next potential entry into this trade. Now Pfizer's not one that was is typically going to be one of those fast movers, those pop and just run, 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 um, straight up kind of trades. But it's one of those stability trades that we can look at that pays a nice dividend and could be a, a nice potential hold for a period of time. So keep a close eye on Pfizer. Really like that chart. Right way options, we're in that chart down here. Um, I, think, I think we actually bought this candle, had to suffer through that pullback on the next day. But um, we've got a beautiful profit in this trade right now. Um, speaking of really nice profits, let's take a look at KHC. RWO is in KHC, and let me show you on a weekly chart where we entered this trade. We entered this trade right here, and we've been holding this with absolutely no pressure, no pullback, no nothing. Um, in this chart and it's just been running week after week to the upside and if we look at the daily chart I want you to notice that if we check out this daily trend we are l really setting up an opportunity right here in that chart that possibility that KHC could continue to push on higher once again I want to point out consumer defensive sector packaged foods high dividend payers are performing quite well. So keep a close eye on this. I'm not suggesting that you should um, chase this in any way, shape, or form, but if this continues to hold in here, that may push right on through to the upside. So watch that closely. Last but not least today, I think we need to be keeping an eye on um, the financial sector today um, and this week as we report these big bank earnings. As you can see, we've been in a beautiful upside trend here, but there is some question still going on here. Are we going to be able to push out? Will they be able to produce enough earnings to support these prices? So this is one of those stocks that if we can garner enough 
energy in here that we could certainly lift right on up out of here continuing this extension to the upside and we should keep an eye on that and, and once again you can drill down and look at the stocks that are making up this index and quickly find those bullish stocks in that ETF and then take a look at um, XLE energy has been one of those stocks that um, energy has been a, a sector that has performed really well this year but we've slipped and kind of slid back a little bit and maybe with covid coming um, numbers coming up there may be a little bit of worry of demand um, slipping here but at the same time we're going to get that petroleum status number today and if we happen to see that our demand is better than we expect we could certainly continue this upside move notice that we broke this big downtrend we're trying to hold that area as support. I'm disappointed that we didn't hold onto this trend. Uh, whoops, this trend right here, we didn't hold onto that trend. But as you can see, um, we still have that opportunity if we can hold in this area to find that inspiration to perk on up. So you might wanna keep an eye on that energy sector as well. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I hope you have great success in your trading. Um, once again, I just wanna echo out there, be a little bit cautious. Don't, don't over trade and don't become complacent. I, uh, complacent, I think we're gonna to have to stay on our toes and stay really, really focused in this market. Um, the whipsaws, the reversals, um, based on these news reports, could be really painful. So make sure you're prepared for that. Everyone, be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.